I'm with Justin here at Wildebeest and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the BC wines here on their list. You have a lot of meat-centered dishes at Wildebeest. For sure. Are you finding that there's still some white BC wines that can match up or are you excited about some of these fleshier reds? Absolutely, both I think. Uh, we see a lot of Rhone Valley style whites coming out of uh, the southern Okanagan right now. Roussans and Marsans and these kind of uh, fleshier textured whites that can stand up to bigger dishes. And also we see the introduction of uh, orange wines or skin macerated white wines that have a little bit more grip to them and can really match up to some meatier dishes. Do you find that there's any specific regions that you're enjoying most in British Columbia or is it pretty much the full spectrum? Well, definitely being a meatier restaurant, we do use a lot of uh, heartier reds from the southern end of the valley, from the Black Sage Bench and around Oliver. Um, but straight up through to the north, we've, uh, we work with Tantalus and Kelowna, and we do also work with um, wineries from the island as well with, uh, with Blue Grouse. Are there any particular wines that you are finding the most success with right now on the list or that you want to share with us? Uh, right here I have our two house wines uh, made by Okanagan Crush Pad in Summerland. Uh, there are Wildebeest White and Red. The white's a blend of Chardonnay and Gewürztraminer and the red is a blend of Merlot and Cabernet Franc. And we kind of uh, look at these as just our really go-to versatile bottles uh, that pair well from on the menu kind of start to finish. Uh, I think the most exciting thing right now is really our Syrahs. Um, it wasn't uh, a grape that most consumers were as familiar with when when BC wine started taking off, uh, but now people are branching out and I think Syrah is really the future of the Okanagan Valley.